Mishle, Proverbs 23. When you sit to eat, eth with a ruler, consider diligently, eth what is before you, and put a knife to your throat, if you be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich, cease from your own wisdom. Will you set your eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat not eth the bread of him that has an evil eye. Neither desire his dainty meats. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, says he to you. But his heart is not with you. The morsel which you have eaten shall you vomit up and lose your sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is mighty, he shall plead at their cause with you. Apply your heart unto instruction, and your ears to the words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the child, for if you beat him with the rod, he shall not die. You shall beat him with the rod, and shall deliver his soul from Sheol. My son, if your heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Yea, my mind shall rejoice when your lips speak right things. Let not your heart envy sinners, but be in the fear of Yahuwah all the day long. For surely there is an end, and your expectation shall not be cut off. Hear, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Be not among wine-bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Hearken unto your father that begat you, and despise not your mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and sell it not. Also wisdom, and instruction, and understanding. The father of the righteous shall rejoice, rather greatly rejoice, and he that begets a wise child shall have joy of him. Your father and your mother shall be glad, and she that bore you shall rejoice. My son, give me your ear, and let your eyes observe my ways. For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lies in wait as for a prey, and increases the transgressors among men. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has babbling? Who has wounds without cause? Who has redness of eyes? They that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine. Look not upon the wine when it is red, when it gives his color in the cup, when it moves itself aright. At the last it bites like a serpent and stings like an adder. Your eyes shall behold strange women and your heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, you shall be as he that lies down in the midst of the sea or as he that lies upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me, shall you say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will yet, rather, I will seek it yet again.